Hello everyone, um, today we'll be discussing, as quickly as possible of course, uh, be discussing gratitude and subdivisions. What I mean with gratitude is that um, to you have the ability to come to terms with the wholeness of truth, the wholeness of the duality of things, the divinity uh, on its low vibrations and high vibrations. I'm using general terms for the sake of people having different belief systems, and it's you can be you can it, it can be trans translated into other religions in respects of its context of its names and where it stands with those particular names for example christianity um the dualities of the devil versus god which is all in a sense working together to help you develop yourself on your own path in your own way your your spiritual journey and spiritual growth unfortunately there are people that uses those religions or tools um, to dismantle cause self hate and trauma in the in the form of or behind the guise of borders or boundaries or it's for your own good and it they try to reshape your nature to what's befitting for their agenda, okay? And there's people that use it to um, empower and enlighten and embrace people's differences. So it's all about where are you willing to put most of your energy into, into a place of compassion and love or into a place of condemnation, wrath, and fear. But all in all, in the end, I have faith and hope that, like they said, love will conquer all. Love and compassion, life, all those different positive concepts will prevail in the end. Uh, we may think that going through a dark time means the demise of oneself or that it guarantees defeat, but it does not. Um, even in the sense of people, especially young adults and men, in the, in the case of life and death, that they decide to take their life, um, it still can bring about a positive awareness for others around, including the ones that have directly caused or influenced them to commit that terrible act or negative act. So in a sense, it still is a lesson for someone to learn and to bring awareness and to help people to be better people and how to treat each other and just bring awareness that we are all human and we deserve love and not self-hating or hating one another because of differences um i feel like this need these things needs to happen to invoke and promote a world where we can all share together and not impede or implode on anyone else's way of life or living and respect other people's differences so in a sense we all need to show gratitude to all all forms of essences, essence of life and destruction, um, the polarities of it all. And in a sense, darkness is not always sh or should be associated to just evil or, or negative because darkness is like is the the shelter of all that is of life and, and 
goodness and holiness and love and passion, it highlights the truth. It highlights what things you need to come to terms with. And sometimes it takes low vibrations for you to reach um, enlightenment. So for anyone to just demonize any form of way of life is just to show context that they haven't come to terms with something themselves or they don't want to, they haven't reached that place of enlightenment where you can see other people's point of view um, without, um, you know, condemning them for it. It allows people to see things in the round. So, yeah, I think the benefits of it is astounding in the end, despite of uh, the uncertainty, despite of feeling vulnerable. Sometimes you have to relinquish control, and I had to learn it myself, and I'm still learning. We all have to learn this, you know, on and on throughout our life span and and our other lives down the road. <laughs> so that's the the benefit of it of it all, even if and when it hurts, even when you don't want to let go. Sometimes you have to order for you to get to the next level. Yes, it's feel like I'm regurgitating and it's and it's irritating, but it it's all for the best. So thank you, every everyone, everything. <laughs> as chaotic as it is, thank you. Because this ultimately brings about a place of heaven and utopia for everyone. Now to go on to subdivisions. All life matter. And and it's hard for some people to understand this, but it's not. Because you got to understand that everyone's hurting. And when hurt people hurt people. Have you ever heard that term? You know what I'm talking about. Many, any, anything, any aspect. When slavery happened, it, it happened because they was in a place of desperation and they were hurt. Those people that enslaved us, they, they were also in a form of slavery in themselves. They were also seeking liberation. And in the process of dealing with it, they dealt with their traumas and hurt and pain and oppressions. So what you think is going to happen? They're going to invoke some of that onto the next person and to the next because they're afraid of being in that vulnerable position again. That's because of the traumas that they had undergo, gone for so long. So now people thinking, hey, if either I'm be the predator or the prey, so I might as well be the predator. But they're just a person not relinquishing control and allowing love and compassion to reach the forefront. When you allow those positive thoughts to take over instead of living in a place of fear, resentment, and hurt and pain and the past uh, transgressions or dealing with any low vibes, you're, you realize you're likely to, to hurt someone in the process because you're, just, you're staying in that low place. I got a lost train of thought. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but basically, that's why I get out, out of it. And trying to separate one person from the next due to race, color, or belief system is causing us to disconnect from one another, disconnect from life and humanity. When we all need to realize we're, we're of the same source source of creation in the same in the sense of the collective we need to break down all these walls these divisions and build it up to where everyone can live and, and coexist in harmony and understand that nobody's
problems or issues is above the other. We should all be allowed to express ourselves in our entirety and love one another because of our differences. Because in the same sense, we are all alike in some, some way. We're all just humans trying to live the best life we can live and want to be happy. So, in, in our truth, of course. So, yeah, that's why I take with all that. And uh, I'm hoping and pushing for tomorrow to where if I was to entertain <laughs> bringing a child in this world, I have faith that it's a world that I feel comfortable allowing my child to be in, and live in his vibrant colors. Whether they're being stamped on and stomped on um, because of he's or she is different. I want that for anyone, including myself. And it hurts greatly when you can feel, you can see that so many people are living in living on eggshells and living in fear. And that ultimately causes you not to live or have, make it hard for you to live in your truth. In peace and happiness because the next person or people aren't we are in this whether you want to believe it or not we are in this together this this is a big world small world <laughs> and it should be shared in harmony and in love and in heaven not in a low vibrational place of in turmoil and and hate in hell I know that low vibrations and are still part of the human expression but lingering in it for years and years isn't healthy for any of us so it's always best to invoke and promote self-love unconditional love and acceptance for everyone and having platforms and having ways for everyone to express who they are without being condemned for being different thank you guys for your time you have a good day or night <laughs>